Oh, well, now to this morning's life hack verify. It's about something that everyone has to deal with, and that is trash. When you're pulling out your recyclables, will any leftover liquid or food remnants contaminate the recycled products? And this special life hack verify, we want to know, do you need to wash out your recyclables? Abby Kasora set out to find the answer. Her sources, Matt Adway with Adway Recycling LLC in Milledgeville and Brandon Wright with the National Waste and Recycling Association. Here's what she found out. Even when you think it's all gone. This green smoothie bottle still has a little bit of liquid left in it. But do you need to wash out your recyclables before you put them in a recycling bin? We set out to verify. Taking the empty bottle to the source. Attaway Recycling in Milledgeville. They service recycling in Bibb, Monroe, Jones, and Baldwin County. On the conveyor belt, workers separate plastics from cardboard. Manager Matt Adway says sometimes it's a sticky job. There's the orange juice sometimes left in there. He says detergent from detergent bottles can make a slippery mess. And expired milk smells revolting. Sometimes they throw out the really nasty ones, but most make it to the end. <laughs> then plastics get compacted together to make bales that Attaway can sell. It weighs about 750 pounds, eight, 9,000 bottles. He says a small amount of liquid won't destroy the whole bale. It shows a small, small percentage of, uh, you know, the overall product, it, it'll be fine. I think about like peanut butter, your plastic peanut butter jars. That's something that if you don't clean those out thoroughly, that's going to be a problem. Brandon Wright, director of communications for the National Waste and Recycling Association, says containers filled with solid food need to be thrown out at the plant. Coke and water bottles, those don't need an added rinse. So we verified you don't have to wash out your recyclables before putting them in the recycling bin, but it sure doesn't hurt. In Milledgeville, Abby Pesores, 13 WMAZ News. So you don't have to rinse containers out, but you should not throw away bottles that are still full or half full of liquid. Attaway says the biggest problem they have with sorting recyclables is plastic bags. Who At knew? their facility, they can't process those plastic bags, so they have to spend time on the assembly line sorting and pulling out thousands of them every day. You'll find links to this week's Lifehack Verify answers inside this story on 13WMAZ.com.